Hey y'all, this is Liz with Gun Gals, and today I've been challenged to do the range bag dump. Okay, so I'm not really going to dump out the range bag. There's a lot of stuff in here that might not fare too well if I just dumped it. Um, I haven't messed with my bag since coming back from the range this last time a couple days ago. I just haven't gone through it. Um, I did remove my firearm, my magazines, and my ammunition, so those won't be in here. Obviously, those are all things I take to the range. Come on, guys. Um, for this bag that I have, I actually got this. Uh, Shane picked it up at the NRA convention in Dallas this last year from Voodoo Tactical. Love it. Thanks, guys. Um, totally my color, for real. Um, and just a little bit of background with this bag. It is set up for what is an outdoor range with cover. So um, you're going to find some stuff geared towards that. As opposed to an indoor range, I might have a few different things. Or if I'm just going out to property, I would have a few different things. And we'll touch on that later. But let's go ahead and get out the contents. So I'll go one by one. Um, I have a little tiny tripod that I use sometimes. I'll use it if I want to see what I'm doing, why I'm shooting weird, or whatever. And sometimes if I can, I'll just take video to share with you guys. I have a snack bar that I forgot was in here. It's always good to have a little snack once in a while, especially if you're there longer than you think. Um, this is a new thing I picked up for my bag. Uh, it's a rosin bag, kind of like they use for baseball, basketball, football, uh, gym, gymnastics, I guess. Um, a lot of sports and you use it to dry your hands. I get particularly sweaty hands when it's hot outside. We do live in Texas <laughs> and um, it's really hard especially when I'm working on my marksmanship to keep steady when my hands are so wet that it's moving every time I recoil. So yeah I picked that up. We're going to try that out the next time but I did throw it in here after picking it up and I haven't tried it. I always have an extra set of eye protection in my bag. Um, I have my glasses, which I normally use. I'm working on. My goal is to get glasses that are prescription that are also um, some special gun safety tint for like trap shooting and stuff. So that's my next purchase. I also typically have backup ear protection. My fancy ear protection, the Otis Ear Shield I like so much, got left at a range. So I'm waiting to get some new ones. Um, so currently these are the ear protection I use. They're just your basic cheap earmuffs. But they work, but I do always have them as backup anyway. You never know, especially if you're going to an event that new shooters might be there, you never know what they didn't bring. And I like to encourage new shooters by having extra stuff. Um, like this hat. I usually leave the house with a hat on if I'm going shooting, but I do typically have an extra hat in here. Um, this one I actually kind of need to wash because I did just let a newbie use it when she didn't bring a hat. Um, and no offense, but other people sweat. Ew. I sweat enough that eh. Um, bright orange duct tape. You just never know. You don't have a mat for like the bench to put your gun on. This is great. Um, also to wipe your hands, also to clean. I have a couple in here, so that's nice. Um, I also have some backup little squishy ear protection um, that I got. They're cute little pink ones that look like bullets, so that's cool. What else? This is what I'm currently using for my um, gun bag. Um, what I typically do lately when I've been going to a girl and a gun, I've been using this because I'll typically only bring one gun. Um, I'll bring my Glock 17. Um, so I've been putting it in here. Um, obviously, magazine empty, unloaded. Like, yeah. But I have it marked on both sides. This is what this actually is, is it's an old mini laptop case from when I had like a laptop this size forever ago. But you can see on the inside and outside, it is. Um, there's a word for this material, and I've completely lost it, but you get the drift. It's the squishy stuff that you make, uh, oh, for heaven's sake, what's it called? I don't remember. We'll look it up later. But anyway, it's got a big pocket, nice and squishy. It can also double as a range mat as well for your gun. Um, it's going to kill me that I can't remember that word. There's also another pocket on the front that I don't typically use, but you could put a magazine or two in there if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, instead of buying a fancy new one, I already had this laying around, so why not use it? Let's see here. Now for the pockets. In one pocket, I have a set of mini screwdrivers, because you just never know. I actually won that at a girl and a gun for um, one of our just friendly little competitions. I have a to-go package of let-off. Again, good to have. 
um, my tag for Girl and a Gun for when we do public shoots and stuff. Some business cards for Girl and a Gun to pass out if anyone wants to join in. I swear I'm not being paid or anything. I'm just, it's what's in my bag. <laughs> I have gum because, yeah, I'm always chewing gum. I also have this really cool, i got to share this with you guys. It's chapstick, but it looks like a shot shell. It is amazing. It's called Balm Shot. This one's pomegranate. And it's awesome. Show you up close because this one's cool. Oh, I love it. You can get these online. It's the only place I've seen them. But they're cool. So put that down. Looks like that's it for those. Typically what I'll do is carry my extra magazines on the two side pockets. Um, and there's a whole spot in here just for ammo. I also, I should have this in here already, but I don't. I typically have a little card with safety information in it. And I keep forgetting to move it to this bag. There's actually a little spot just for that. And it's currently empty. That is terrible. Um, so I'm going to do that after this video. Next I have a pocket knife, a Gerber, and I have a multi-tool, because, yeah, who doesn't have a multi-tool at all times, and a mini gun cleaning kit. Yeah, just in case. Um, what you may notice that I am missing, I do not have a first aid kit in here. Reason being, this bag isn't quite big enough to have a full first aid kit in. I do need, I do realize I do need to add some pieces of it. However, in the cars, both of our cars that we would take to the range, we have a full first aid kit in both. Like full, including anything you could possibly need in any emergency. Um, they're actually part of our bug out bag stuff that's all together in the cars in case of emergency. Um, and there at the range where I currently go, I pull up directly behind where I'm gonna shoot. So it's literally like three to four feet away from me. Um, so it's in there, so I'm not too worried about it. But I should have some things in here just in case realize that. Sorry guys. And you should probably look into that too. Um, just depending on how you feel about having a tourniquet or whatnot, whatever it is, you need to have first aid kit with safety equipment to cover your butt in case something happens. Because God forbid, you know, the same thing we're always taught. These are machines. Machines fail. Um, safeties fail. People's habits fail, things that we should know better about, they fail. So it's always good to be prepared. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all that's currently in my range bag. Oh, real quick. I have pins and sharpies. I forgot. I always have pins and sharpies. I usually also have a staple gun, but I haven't needed it the last few times and we took it out to do a project. Um, another addendum, I have a pin, and I also usually have masking tape to cover up spots in the plates for the targets that we're using. Um, I usually also bring targets. That's something else I totally forgot to mention. One thing I might consider adding, I have some new face covers for kind of keeping the powder smell or the lead smell and all that stuff out. Um, when you've been shooting for three or four hours, it kind of starts to accumulate and it bothers you. I haven't put it in here yet because I haven't gone to any indoor ranges since getting them, um, but I probably should add one anyway. There's a little bit of limited space. <coughs> Excuse me. This bag is great for like one gun. Um, I would probably need another bag for another one just because of how much stuff I pack in here. But I'm also a mom, so I like to be prepared. And I like to just kind of keep all this stuff so at a moment's notice I can go to the range because goodness knows those opportunities don't always come up when we want them to. All right. Well, let us know what you think. Um, is there anything that I missed, anything that I should have in my range bag, anything that I shouldn't have in my range bag? Let me know. Also, I am going to challenge Armenthia and Jesse to their own range bag dumps. Show me what you guys got. All right. Definitely check out our other videos during the week, our answers videos and our live shows on the Sunday. And give us a big thumbs up and a subscribe if you like what we're doing. Let us know what you'd like to see and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.